self-reflection is an important entry to being and becoming a professional. Let me show you the next signpost, guided reflection, which is the second stage of my journey. What is guided reflection? Here are two definitions. First, guided reflection is a form of reflection which happens between two people, such as a teacher and a student, in a structured way. Second, guided reflection is also a testing place where a student can see herself against the mirror of teachers or peers who provide affirming or disconfirming feedback. Who provides guidance for reflection? Who is responsible for providing me with the necessary guidance? To answer this question, I first looked at the how and why of guided reflection. Guided reflection can take on different forms. Firstly, it can take the form where the knowledgeable person, in my case it was the qualified early childhood teacher, guides the student teacher, me. Secondly, it can be when a student teacher, me, is guided by another student teacher, my peer. Lastly, it can be when the student teacher, me, is guided by children she teaches. Different forms of guidance supported me to meet the required expectations of my studies. This helped me build confidence to perform independently. Through guided reflection and with the help of others, I got to know myself better as a professional. I can now confidently position myself as a change agent. I then began the next part of my journey, critical reflection. 